his uncle, when he prays, he recites the Fatiha and then recites another surah. And he concludes with reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad. So he asked his uncle, why are you doing such a thing? And his uncle said, because this is the sunnah. So is my uncle correct or not? Well, to say it is the sunnah is incorrect. Why? Didn't the Prophet والسلام, approve of it? The answer is yes. But to say it is a sunnah, when the Prophet himself had never done it, and none of the companions had ever done it, no, it, this indicates that it is not a sunnah per se, rather it is permissible. It is like saying, is eating lizard desert, lizard meat, what we call as a bob, the, the big le, uh, desert liz, lizard. The Prophet ﷺ was presented with the food and was told that this was desert lizard meat. So he refrained. Khalid ibn al-Walid, who was a great warrior, and these warriors usually eat such things, immediately went and started eating. And the Prophet was watching. So he was asked, is it haram? The Prophet said, no. But it is something that I find distasteful. I'm not used to it. In my country, in my region, among my people, we're not used to it. So I don't like it. Now, did the Prophet approve, alayhi salatu salam, Khalid eating this desert lizard meat? The answer is yes. Can anyone say that eating it is a sunnah? Yes. The answer is no. Then likewise, reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas after the Surah, is not a sunnah, but it is permissible. And the greater, of course, to those who don't know the origin of the, the story, the hadith goes as follows. A man used to lead the congregation, the companions, and he used to always recite Qul Hu Allahu Ahad in addition to the surah, either before it or after it. So his companions complained to him and said, listen, Either you think that it's a beautiful surah, then it's sufficient, read it alone. Or you don't think that it's not sufficient, then don't read it and read the other one alone. He said, well, whether you like it or not, this is what I'm going to do. If you don't like me leading, choose someone else. They thought among themselves that he's the best of us. Knowledgeable in the Quran and he's righteous and all the checks all the boxes. So they went to the Prophet ﷺ and told him. And the Prophet ﷺ asked them to ask him, why is he reading it? So when they told him that the Prophet is asking you, why are you reading it? He said, because it contains the description of Allah and I love it for that. So they went back to the Prophet ﷺ and they told him, and the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, tell him that his love for this surah admitted him to Jannah, admitted him to paradise. So lots of the people, when they read this hadith, it clicks in their mind and said, whoa, I want to be like him. I want to be loved by Allah. I want to be admitted to Jannah. So I'm going to recite the, hadith, the, the surah, not knowing that the Prophet himself والسلام, had never done this, nor his companions, which means that it is a permissible thing, but it is not at all part of the Sunnah. So I hope this answers your uncle's uh, confusion.